Hi, Chelsea from Jimra here. And today we're gonna work on a weighted Pilates routine. The best thing about this workout is that you never have to stand up off of your mat. So you just have to lay down on your mat. The only thing you need is that and a pair of weights. I suggest going pretty light on the weights. We're really gonna be sculpting our arms here. So it is a full body workout, but this workout is gonna help us carve those beautiful, nice sculpted arms without any jingle jingle. So pick a light weight that you can hold up for a little while while we make some arm movements. All right, so I'm gonna go with threes here today. We'll see, I, maybe I'll move them down to twos. And we're gonna start off on our knees. So first, just roll your shoulders back a couple times. So rolling your shoulders up by your ears, down and back, nice. And then keep your shoulder blades down your back, pulling your elbows in. Turn the weights so your palms are facing up. We're gonna come up onto our knees like this, shooting our hips forward, and then slowly lowering our heel, our glutes to our heels. So in doing this movement, we're really activating through our core here. And really nice and slow, we're also getting into our legs. Make sure you stick it at the top and come back down. On this next one, we're gonna let our arms go out in front of us like we're serving a tray and then bringing them back in as we bring our glutes back to our heels. Nice and slow and controlled. I already feel this kind of in my calves. Maybe that's from my workout yesterday, who knows? For five and four, serving the food. Beautiful. So the next thing we're gonna add on to this is we're coming up serving the tray and then we're gonna open our arms out to the sides. Like we could give somebody a hug, but still keeping our palms, palms up. And then coming back in as we sit back down. So serving up and out, back in and down. So it's like we had two trays, maybe with two martinis on each tray, giving them out to the side, back in and down. You can keep a little bend in your elbow here so you don't have to lock out your elbows. For four. And three. Two. And one. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let that go for a second. You can take your wrist out in front, make little bird's beaks with your hands. Rotate one direction and the other. All right, we're coming back up. Back up on your knees, pressing into the tops of your feet, or you can curl your toes under. We're gonna lift both arms up overhead and we're doing tricep extension. So we're bringing the weight down behind our head and lifting it straight back up, just bending at the elbows. We're not gonna be here very long. We're eventually gonna add on to this move. Nice and slow and controlled. Four. Three. Nice. Okay. Still working on our triceps, keeping the weights together. We're doing a circle around our head and coming back in. So it's a circular motion bringing the weights around our head. A little crazy, but it's really working into our shoulders and our triceps. Four. 
Nice. Back to the center, going the opposite direction. This is messing up my hair. Five. Nice, bringing your weights back in, fixing your hair if you need to. And now holding our weights up, elbows up. We're bringing our weights out to the side and back in. Again, you don't have to lock up your elbows. You can stop wherever feels comfortable. Try to keep the weights facing the ground when you come out, so keeping your knuckles facing the ground. Ah, oh, I already feel this in the back of my arms too. I'm being a baby, but I've been working out and training like crazy for the Gemra channel. So make sure to check out all of my videos. You can find the majority of them released on Gymra.com, which has so many free workouts for you. And of course, on the app. Three, two, one. Nice, bringing that back in. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. All right, coming back out, palms facing down. We're just gonna turn our palms to face up, then down. Bring your arms back in line with your body. Two, one, <laughs> letting that go. Rolling out your shoulders here. Two more exercises here while we're up on our knees like this. Bringing your arms out to the side, palms down, little pulses up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, letting that go, rolling out the shoulders again. Last one up here on the knees. You probably guessed it, we're coming back up, turning our palms up to the sky. Make sure you're not really gripping onto those as you lift up for 10. Little pulses, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, <laughs> letting that go, coming down, stretching out your shoulders. Nice, bringing your arms out in front. You can interlace your hands. Just reach the palms of your hands forward. Let your chin tuck here. And then coming back up onto your knees, just lifting your arms up overhead, letting your chest come proud here. Nice, hands back out in front. Change the interlace of your hands, so different pointer finger on top. Bring your hands out first, tucking your chin, and then you can raise it up. Maybe a little twist to the right and the left if that feels good. All right, letting that go. Left foot is gonna come out to the side. Left foot's on the ground. Grab both of your weights, or one, holding on to them. We're just gonna slide down that left leg. Right hand can go up and over. Nice, for five, four, three, two, one. Let the right hand come down to the ground. Left arm is gonna go up overhead with the weights. Bring the left arm up by your ear and you're gonna bring the right knee to the left elbow and back out for 10 and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, knee back in, great. This time just dropping the left arm down. Again, right arm can come up by your ear. We're really working into our side obliques, crunching them into the left for five, four, Three, two, one. Nice. Switching hands. We're gonna bring our right foot out to the right. 
taking your right hands, we're sliding them down that right leg. Your left arm can go up and over. Ah, enjoying the nice little stretch you get from this. Four, three, two, one. Let the left hand come down underneath your left shoulder. Weights go up overhead. Bringing your weights out so your arm is by your ear, lifting up that right leg. We're coming to tap elbow to knee, back out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice. Right knee in. Just let the right uh, arm slide down towards the mat. You can have the left hand go up and over. Four, two, one. Nice. Let that go. This time we're going to bring our hands to interlace behind our back. So hands interlace behind your back. Pull your elbows together and then just lean forward letting your arms go up overhead and then coming back up switching the interlace of your hands this is my favorite part about Pilates is that you get to stretch in between the moves and then folding forward coming back up all right moving on so bring your weights to the top of your mat we're coming into an all fours position. So a nice tabletop position with a flat back. So find that first. Elbows, wrist, shoulder, all in line, knees right underneath your hips, flat, flat back. We're gonna take one of our weights. If you have two sets, choose a heavier weight and hug it behind that right leg. So you're really hugging that right leg in. I like to flex through my right foot, but you could also point. We're just going straight up with the right leg and back in. And what this is helping us do here is this is really getting into the glute, especially right underneath the glute. So this is a shelf move. It's an old classic. We've been doing it in Pilates since probably the beginning of Pilates, but it's because it works. It works really well. Nice. Three, two, one. Nice. Keep that right leg up. Flex through the foot, little pulses up, like you could step on the ceiling. Nice. Now right leg is going to cross over the left leg and back up. So it's like a curtsy move. Crossing over and back up. Keep your shoulders pulling down your back. If you lose the weight, just try to grab back on it and meet us in. For five, four, three, I'm feeling this in my glutes too. One, not done yet. Right leg comes in to the left, but we're gonna hover it an inch off the mat and we're just opening up to the fire hydrant move and bringing it back in. Nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, holding it up, little pulses up. So moving that right knee towards the right elbow for five and four, three, two, one. Right leg comes down, releasing the weight and grabbing onto it with the left hand. Right foot's coming back up behind you, straightening out the leg now. Must feel pretty good without the weight. So enjoy that, flex through the foot, lift the left arm out in front of you, weight points down. So it's like you're sh about to shake hands with someone. Tap the weight and your toe down to the ground and back up for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, two, 
two, one. Right knee comes down, keep the weight in your left hand. Open your left hand up, gaze towards that left fingertips. And then we're gonna curl back in nice and slowly. Left hand goes behind the right arm and you're opening it up like you're serving a platter now towards the front of the room. Opening back up, gaze at this left hand, twisting open and then bringing it through. Opening up, nice and slow and controlled. For five and four, three, two, one. Nice, okay, let that go. Planting your hands, just sitting your hips back to a child's pose. Ah, stretching out your glutes, maybe shaking side to side a little bit here. And we're gonna come up to the other side. So, taking our trusty weight now behind the left knee, hugging it in, find your perfect tabletop first. So make sure that you're not leaning way back here. You want your shoulders right above your wrists. Lifting that left foot up. We're bringing it back in and up. Nice and slow and controlled. Try to keep your gaze right down on the mat so your neck can stay nice and long. For five and four, three, two, one. Hold that left foot up in little pulses for five, four, three. I know I tricked you. This is basically ten. Two, one. Nice. Left knee is gonna cross over the right leg and come right back up. Engaging through your core, pull your shoulder blades back. Three more. Nice. Okay, left leg comes in, right next to the right one, the good old fire hydrant. Opening to the left, bringing it back in. Opening it up, keep going for five, four, nice and slow and controlled, three, two, one. Hold it up there, little pulses up, left knee to left elbow, five, four, three, two, one, let that left knee come down. Take the weight, bring it into your right arm and let that left leg come back. So you're floating that left leg up, flexing through the foot, find your perfect tabletop still, pull in your navel and then let the right arm float up in front of you. Again, so you, it's like you could shake somebody's hand. We're just gonna drop the weight and the big toe down to the mat and back up for 10. Feels so good without the weight in the back leg. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, okay, bring that knee in. We've got that twist move now opening up to the right side. So again, with your tabletop position, we're twisting open, let your gaze go up towards that right hand holding the weight, and then you're bringing it behind the left elbow like you're serving a platter now to the back of the room. So inhaling up, exhaling out. Inhale up, exhale. Really try to spin your chest open. So you're getting a nice stretch while you do this. For three and two, one. Nice. 
All right, let that go. Sit back in your child's pose for just a moment. Maybe shaking your hips back and forth a little bit. Nice. And then rolling up, we're gonna come to lay down on our left side. So elbow and forearm right underneath your shoulder. So elbow right underneath your shoulder, forearm flat to the ground, legs out in front of you. You can bring your feet a little bit towards the front of the mat. Taking one or two weights, placing them on top of that top leg. We're lifting that leg straight up and back down. And if that feels okay, you can move your weights down so they're above the knee. And you'll see, feel a little bit more weighted pressure there. Nice. I like to keep a nice point to my top leg. It does look beautiful, but I think it helps engage through my leg as well. For five, four, three, two, one. Nice, keep the weights there. Just pull your knees in. See if you can open up through your chest a little bit more so you're not sinking in, but you're keeping a nice long spine. Feet together, you're opening up into the clam shape, so opening your knees apart, bringing them back down for 10. Nice and slow. Like moving through quicksand, really working into the resistance. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, straightening our legs out. Right foot in front of left, high up on your forearm, keeping your leg, keeping your weights where they are. We're lifting up with our hips and coming all the way back down. First seven. And six. Nice. Five. Nice and slow and controlled. Four. Three. Two. One, hold them up, little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, let that go. Bring your legs in, dropping your weights to the outside of those legs. Just lift your left arm up and over for a side stretch. We wanna get nice and long and lean. So we have to stretch out our muscles after we work them. All right, we'll switch to the other side. So now your left leg is on top. Walk your feet out so they're at the front edge of your mat and then check in with your elbow. Make sure it's right underneath the shoulder. Weights can go on somewhere on this left leg, just not on top of the knee. We're lifting the left leg straight up and back down. Halfway there. Two, one. Nice, pull your knees in, keeping your weights where they are, staying on your feet here. So you're flexing through your feet. We're just opening up that top knee, bringing it back down nice and slow. Pull in your navel. Halfway there. For three. And two. And one. Okay. Feet go out in front of you. Left foot is gonna be out in front of the right. So the top leg in front. Flexing through, lifting your chest. We're going straight up with our hips, all the way back down. Trying to make a little arch, like a rainbow arch. Every time we lift up. Three, two, one, holding up, little pulses up. Four, 
three, two, one. Let that go. Bring your knees in, just drop your weights to the outside. Right arm goes up and over. Oh, enjoying that nice stretch. All right, very nice. We're gonna move down onto our backs now with the weights, of course. So keep your weights close by. Just swing your legs out in front of you and come to a nice seated position. Arms are gonna go up to the sky and then we're gonna start to roll down, holding your core vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down to the mat. When you get there, arms go out behind your head to touch overhead. Flex through your feet, lift your arms straight up and then curling your chin, curl all the way back up, lifting the weights overhead. So really slow, pull your belly button down towards the mat. Weights tap overhead. And then nice and slow and controlled, rolling all the way back up to the flat back. Two more like that. Using your breath and not holding it, just using it to help you move through this nice and slowly and controlled. Last one like that. And then all the way back up. Nice. This time just reach forward, bringing the weights down on opposite sides of your feet, pulling your belly button back. You can round forward, stretching over your legs a little bit here. And then grab back onto the weights, come up with a flat back. Arms go up. Last time that we come all the way down, staying down. Arms can tap up overhead and then coming back up. Bring your knees in so that your heels are close to your glutes. We're gonna bring our weights onto our hip creases here, keeping your head looking straight up at the ceiling. We're just lifting our hips up and coming back down. So it's a weighted bridge pose, lifting up and back down. Really nice, articulating the spine as you come up and down. Pressing into the feet. For three. And two. And one. Keeping your hips up in the bridge. Grab onto your weights, bringing them right overhead. With our arms overhead like this, we're gonna bring our elbows down towards the mat as we let our hips drop. So we're opening up our elbows to tap the mat, bringing the weights down, and then lifting everything back up, weights tap overhead. Beautiful, nice and slow. Really controlled move. Try to keep your neck nice and long on the mat here. And keep your knees from falling out to the side. So keep them pointing straight up. So that when you're in the full expression all the way up, it's like it's one line from your shoulders all the way to your knees. For five. And four. Three. This is a total body killer because you're really getting into the glutes and into the chest. Holding up. Turn your weights to face each other. So we're holding our weights up, we're holding our chest, really puffing our chest up, holding our hips high. We're gonna open our weights, keeping a little bend to your elbow to open them like you could hug somebody that's in front of you and then bringing your weights back together. We're not lowering our hips, we're keeping our hips up. Opening, bringing them back together. Opening, bringing them back together nice and slow. Keeping your hips up. For four and three. Not locking your elbows up, keeping a nice bend. Two and one. Nice, you can bring your elbows down to the mat, hands down to the mat, push up one more time through your heels. Really push 
and then slowly rolling down vertebrae, five vertebrae, all the way down to the mat. Let go of your weights. We're here to stretch now. You did such an amazing job. We're really gonna stretch out our glutes and our arms. So keep your left leg down, knees pointing up, right heel crosses right below that left knee. Reach up, thread the needle, grab that left leg, pull it in. In this particular thread the needle, I really want you to flex through the right foot and push that right knee away from you. Nice. And then relax your shoulders down. They did a lot of work for you in this video. Oh, I already feel it through my glutes and my arms. It's totally killer moves. Just funny how adding just a little bit of weight really does make you work that much harder. And then slowly letting the left foot come down to the ground, slide it out as you bring the right knee in towards your body, hugging the right knee towards your right shoulder. Inhaling and as you exhale, give another little tug and then we'll just cross that right knee over your body. Maybe letting the left arm hug onto that right knee and then let the right arm go out to a T, gazing at the right. Ah, slowly coming back up. Bring both knees in. Just bring your arms up. You're gonna cross the left arm underneath the right and just give yourself a hug, rolling out your shoulders a little bit side to side. And then arms back up, this time right arm underneath the left. Hug onto your shoulders, give yourself a hug. Thank yourself for getting through this workout. You did great. Nice. And then bringing your hands down, just bring that left ankle right up below that right knee, reaching up to thread the needle. And then same thing, flex through that left foot, push that left knee away. Pull the shoulder blades down. Mm. Ah, oh, feels so good. Okay, right leg comes down to the ground, hugging that left knee in towards the left shoulder. Give it a big tug. And then just crossing that left knee over your body. You can bring your right arm out to a T if you want, gazing towards the right. A nice twist. And then left knee comes back in, bringing your arms overhead, stretch through your fingers, stretch through your toes. And then we'll slowly, tucking our train, bringing our arms up, roll all the way back up to a nice seated position. Just two more shoulder rolls here, rolling your shoulders up towards your ears, down and back, up towards your ears, down and back, inhaling your hands up. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this weighted Pilates video.